What time is it? Y'all know what time it is? It's time to get that subscribe button and it's right there, man. Hit that subscribe button. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this little reaction to a series started. what I'm doing now because this weekend I done watched Bridgerton on Netflix y'all never know about the Bridgerton this is like a popular book series by uh Julia Quinn and they done made it into a series uh on Netflix this follows like this family the Bridgerton family they got a kids at like like eight or ten a lot of them and they all go by alphabetical order. That's how, like, the oldest is Anthony, and then they go B, Benedict, and they go by. So this story, the first one in the Netflix series, is is uh, follows the daughter, Daphne, who I get the fourth kid. And set in the 1800s, you know, they all wear the little corsets, and, and they don't, they're prim and proper. And these girls can't even be around, like, any kind of guys that are courting them and stuff alone. They can't even be, like, if they caught along with the, oh, they, they, are, they are ostracized from the whole time. I tell you, I watched the first episode already. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a reaction to all of them because, oh, wait, let me talk. For, for a time when you can't talk, like, it's taboo to talk about all that stuff, about the sex and all that. This got a lot of it. It's got a lot of it. It starts out when one of the brothers doing doing his little thing up on the tree with a girl, and then they see have a couple of butt shots with him. I was like, I was like, I gotta watch more of this. It starts in in this little town in London, right? Little town, and they got the queen, and I guess all the girls who are ready to get married and and put up on this pedestals for to be court and and given proposals by men and all that stuff. Well, they went and like went in front of the queen, right? They went in front of the queen and, and she was all looking at him and she, I guess she kind of picks out the little jewel of the town who's like the most vied after that. She thinks it's going to be, uh, all the men's going to be courting, right? Well, she picks out the Daphne, all right? She picks out the Daphne and everybody's like, oh, she calls her like, oh, flawless and all this. So they go to the first little ball. Snagging the plans there because they have the Featherton family who has four daughters, but I guess they had a cousin come from out of town, right? And she wants to get married off, so she attends the ball, and then all the men flock to her. They all flock to her. Now what happens? Nobody wants the poor Daphne. Nobody is looking at the poor Daphne anymore, except this one little nasty guy, Nigel. I don't even like him, a little Nigel. That I saw a meme that says, if 2020 was a person, it'd be that little nasty Nigel. <laughs> He's some little fella to the Simon Bassett, he's the Duke of Hastings, and he's like the new Duke because his father passed away, and that's like a whole a different story. But anyway, he don't want nothing to do with these girls. They all, they all, ooh, there's the Duke, there's the Duke, there's the Duke. Parent mom's trying to get, hook their little daughters up with the Duke, and he's he don't want nothing to do with it, right? He don't want nothing to do with it. But he's friends with the Bridgertons. He's friends with the oldest, Anthony, and he runs into Daphne at the party, and she don't even know who he is, and he's like, oh, sure, y'all. She... Is getting this proposal only from the Nigel, right? Nigel's the only one after her because everybody's after the, the cousin Marina. And then he's getting all this. So they devise this little plan. They do. They devise this little plan. And they kind of pretend like they're they're like together. A little scheme. In this very first episode, I am hooked. Not even from the little, the little hot parts. Not even from the... But it's just such a great story. The colors in it, I mean, it's popping. They all wearing the little outfits and, and all the scenery is just colorful. And it has, you know, they have the little accents and everything and their little mannerisms. Well, let me tell you, behind it all, this is the thing. They have a little, it's like a gossip column come to life in this series. They got this lady whistle down, right? Who's voiced by the Julie Andrews? I'm going to tell you, I don't care what julie andrews voice she can be reading me a little horror story and her voice just puts you at ease she is the voice that's gonna get you through 20 whistle down right who she is like nobody knows who she is she's anonymous 
but she puts out this little gossip column and tells all the gossip on the ladies up in town. But, you know, that intrigues everybody because they all follow what the lady whistle down saying. Nobody knows who she is. Boy, voice by the Ju Julie Andrews, hello. But it's like a gossip column come to life in this little story. It's after a book series. If you read the book series, I, I want to hear some thoughts of what you think of the, the first episode. Because I know some things have changed up in this from the book. I've read some of that. But let me know what you think. And if you just started watching this, let me know what you think, all that. Because I'm like, comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Bye.